we're gonna do some drills to show you guys what I do to kind of warm up quickly. Rugby kicks, I'm gonna do a couple where I go left, a couple where I go left and kick right. All right, here in Barcelona, um, done some traveling, about to go for a kick of the footy with this legend here. Sam, I've been coaching online for a bit over a year now, I reckon, maybe, about a yeah. year. Plays in the um, Spanish Football League. We are on our way to kick with, um, punt with another fella. And we got Luis. Luis is the punter for a team called the Barcelona Dragons. Sam just started his first season this year after coming from an AFL footy background. Did pretty well considering, I mean, 18 punts, like, in, total. in, in your whole life. I learned a lot. Yeah. And we'll see how it comes out today. Yeah. Un placer. Mucho gusto. Habla un poquito. Habla un poquito. Está aprendiendo. Estamos aquí, we are here um, to train on this not a bad artificial field. Um, we're going to do some drills, uh, going to kind of teach Sam the fundamentals, help Luis improving his technique, um, which is going to be difficult because he only speaks Spanish and yo sé solo un poco. I only know a little bit of Spanish. Come on this line, yeah, I don't mind, yeah. And I just want to see, so put your kick foot on the line and then you want to drop the ball on the line. I just want to see like where you're positioning it. Yeah, so see how that caught the outside? Yeah. And you can just walk down this line, Luis can follow. So the drop needs to be soft, suave. No, no duro, no duro, suave. Like a Like float. Yeah, float, flotando. Sí, flote. Okay, un poco nariz demasiado. Sí. Un poco está bien. Como viento. Sí. Si hay mucho viento, nariz mejor abajo. Yeah. Y si hay viento normal, normal. Yeah. Okay. Because it's easy to drop the ball when we're stable, but it needs to be more realistic, so we need to be kind of like launching into it. Pero, kick. Now you get that feeling of that higher position and kind of hitting it. So it needs to hit off that bony part of your foot. Pops off. It's, it's very hard to kick a spiral when it's too low. It's muy difícil hacer un punt cuando es demasiado bajo. Sí. La, la pies necesita underneath. Sí. Um, the la diferencia into the wind is you go here, not here. Yo no puedo hacer eso. <laughs> So we've just gone over the um, some drops, keeping it on the line. We then worked on our hands into the drop, working on contact. I want you to go through and work your leg swing down the line. It turns into yeah. a spiral. Don't try and create the spiral by slicing. Yeah. Maybe over the line, and then up straight, and then naturally our leg will come over. All right, so we've just gone over some drills. Now we're gonna warm up and get into some kicking. So I'm gonna let the boys do what they want and then I'm gonna just show you guys what I do to kind of warm up quickly. Okay, so a few dynamic stretches now. I do some like run-throughs, um, get Cut some a bit more blood flow, get the nervous system fired up. It's very hot. Very hot here. All right, so after just getting the blood flow and the nervous system fired up, I like to start making contact with the ball, getting my eye in. So I might start with some kind of like drop punts, um, end over end with the backspin. Um, just starting short and then build into some longer kicks and then before hitting, you know, your normal uh, spirals. I'm gonna see how this goes. It's been a while since I've actually punted, but it should be fun. What you can do to warm up, which I might just do now, is just kick into the net so you can get lots of reps in. Um, you know, you might have a kicking net. Here we just got the soccer goals, which work perfectly. Um, so just a few sets there now I'm going to kick with these boys here. 
So, because um, you haven't punted much, you're very much the Australian style. So kind of slicing it a bit to make the spiral, um, which works, but it gets inconsistent when this ball isn't so forgiving because it will just come off the side of your foot too much. Yeah. So when we punt, like I was saying before, we want it to be up through and let the ball turn into a spiral. So um, that's why it's got to be straight for just that little bit longer through the ball, and then you can come across naturally. After. We need to kind of just, yeah, in this warm-up period, like we don't want to waste our kicks. So let's um, slow it down a bit and we'll get more coaching. Yeah. More coaching for it. Um, so then we're not just wasting our energy on shit. Vamos. Vamos. Guys, make sure you like, comment, share, all that good stuff. Subscribe to the channel. It goes a long way in helping me do what I want to do is help you guys with your kicking. Really hot here, and the camera has to keep um, cooling down, so I haven't been able to film a lot of it. But just been working with the boys on their separate um, kind of techniques. Um, we're overcoming the language barrier with Luis. Um, we're gonna work on <laughs> heads up. Um, we're gonna work on some direction with him, and then with Sam, just keep trying to just turn the ball over, hitting the middle to front of the ball. So it turns over, that nose turns over. Too many are just kind of coming on their ass. Um, so it's, it's been a good good session so far. Hopefully I can film a bit more and this camera can um, stay cool. Too low and too close. Too low and Alright, so now we're going to do some rollout drop punts, what you guys might know as rugby drop punts. Australian rules football is what we played. It wasn't actually, it's not actually rugby, but we're going to roll out a little bit, um, hit the ball end over end, so it spins backwards with good direction, good control, looking at around the four seconds of hang, about 40 to 45 yards out um, towards the sideline. Aiming for the corner, like other side of the goals. Yeah. How many steps do I get? Three to five. Yeah. So heat the room, heat the room there for hang time. Yeah. Yep. How much is that? That was a three six five. Okay. To come more around here, hips, hips get more into it, and then under. You you can't end up pretty straight down the field. Yeah. So you get more control, but now you're going to get more power with it. Yeah. And then just kind of drop. float it up a bit. Yeah. yeah. A bit higher. Up up up. Yeah. Okay. So now it's about that height. On the contact, that's a force two seven. Yep. But drive it out. So okay. tight, but out with it, not up. up. The height. Too high, the... but you, you're doing a really good job of the ball, balls leaning back, so you've opened up that sweet spot. So keep it leaning back. That ball on that angle that matches your leg coming around. Trying to hit the fence with some height. Yeah. Don't kick that far, mate. <laughs> right, so I'm going to do some um, rugby kicks. I'm going to do a couple where I go left, a couple where I go left and kick right. It's all about just trying to keep the ball away from the returner. So show that I'm going to kick left, but then pull it across to the right. Four point one. So sometimes I like to, well, most of the time I like to land on my kicking leg. So I'll kick up through the ball and come back down, not on my plant leg. Really helps to make sure you get impact right through the ball. Ah. 4.3, got under that one too much, so try and get a bit more distance on this one.
3.7 to the left, um, hang time more distance. Now I'm going to roll left and kick it essentially back down the field. Lovely. Yeah. So that one's going really far. What I like about that is it allows my hips to get really into it. So going out left, twisting it back, as you can see, a lot more distance on the kick. Do the same thing. So 4.38, try to get a bit more height. That was a pretty good kick right there. Uh, that's it for the session today here in Barcelona. I hope you got a lot out of it. Um, a few drills there, a few things to think about. Comment below if there's anything, any questions that you have. Shoot me an email at josh at thekickingconsultant.com and check out my website for all my kicking guides, programs and workouts.